Well, Samsung's just uh, announced their new Galaxy line of phones, the S21 series. And uh, they're taking a similar page out of their playbook. They've got three different models, the S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra. And uh, today we're gonna be uh, unboxing and talking about the S21 Ultra. They're all 5G as far as the connectivity, and they're also using uh, Wi-Fi 6E as well, which is kind of the latest, latest standard in uh, the Wi-Fi game. So you'll be able to take advantage of the uh, extra six gigahertz uh, frequency if your router supports it. Uh, let's start unboxing these uh, ones here. Uh, as far as the screens go, the uh, the screens in the series, the S21, I think, has a, a 6.2 inch. The S21 Plus is 6.7. And the Ultra here is just a little bit larger, coming at 6.8 inches. The colors on the new phones are actually quite beautiful. Uh, this one is Phantom Black. That's what they're calling it. And they've got other Phantom colors uh, as well. It's kind of a matte finish, and just depending how the light catches it, kind of gives it different uh, types of uh, looks or, or shades. But I'm really kind of liking it because uh, having that matte finish, you can't really see the fingerprints on here, so that's a big plus uh, for me. So on uh, on the back, you can see there are a lot of cameras. Uh, it's got a 108 megapixel wide angle lens, and then it's got a 12 megapixel uh, ultra wide lens and two telephoto lenses. Uh, one of them can do 10 times optical zoom, the other one can do three times optical zoom. And when you combine that all together, they've got something called space zoom, which allows you through optical and digital to get up to 100 times zoom. Uh, and again, I always recommend if you want to use that much zooming, you should probably put it on a tripod, but they do have a feature and we'll have to be testing this out later uh, called zoom lock that uh, helps uh, steady the shot if you're really zoomed into uh, something. On uh, the front here for selfies and that, it's got a 40 megapixel camera. So this thing is uh, really solid when it comes to the hardware specs on uh, the different types of cameras uh, it has. As far as video, uh, there's some really cool stuff happening there. It can take 8K video. Uh, they've also uh, gives you the ability as you're taking that 8K video to actually take high res, uh, I think 12 megapixel still images uh, out of that. And it's one of the first camera phones that I know of that can actually do 4K video at 60 frames a second across all the different lenses, which is, uh, I think, pretty pretty cool. They've also got some other neat features uh, when it comes to the camera and the camera lenses and the software. Uh, one's called Single Take, and this is kind of cool. It takes a 10 to 15 second video and then creates this really cool collage of little video bits and still photos uh, that you can uh, use for whatever creative purposes uh, that you want. And also a director's mode, which I think is pretty cool. So it uh, makes it super easy to kind of switch between the lenses on the go, and you can even have the front camera lens, kind of the selfie lens, on you so you can have that into the uh, the video too, which uh, I think is uh, a pretty cool feature. Uh, as far as the screen, uh, this is uh, 120 megahertz refresh rate. It's it's beautiful. It uh, is very bright, and uh, I'm excited to actually try it out with all the different types of apps and uh, even taking the photos. Uh, it does have a pretty decent battery in here. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so it is uh, capable of uh, going all all day. It's got uh, the different fast charging uh, capabilities as well. I think it's a 25 watt uh, cable wired in fast charge and if you're doing the wireless charging because you have that capability as well, it's 15 uh, watts on that. And talking about charging, as we uh, open this up a little more, you can probably see how skinny this is. They're not including a charger. Taking a, a page out of Apple's uh, little playbook, uh, you have to purchase that uh, separately. So the last little thing in here is basically just the cable and a little quick start guide. So you're gonna have to get, actually get the little charger block if uh, if uh, you wanna charge it. But I think most people prob probably already have uh, one uh, to go or probably even a wireless charger uh, as, uh, as well. But overall, you know, just uh, taking it out of the box here, Got a really nice feel to it. It's got a bit of a curve on the screen as well. Uh, the other models don't have that. It's kind of more of a flat uh, finish screen on there. And it's using uh, Gorilla uh, uh, Invictus, uh, I think it was Victus, uh, Invictus glass. Uh, so it's a very tough screen as well. Of course, you don't want to drop one of these, but uh, if you did, hopefully it might, uh, might be able to withstand the, uh, the damage. So another interesting feature with the Ultra is that you can actually use the S Pen with it. It's using Wacom technology uh, built into the screen, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. You won't be able to use the S Pen on the other two models. You can see on the side here, you can just kind of stick the pen in, and uh, we'll put 
the case on it. It's a silicon case. Uh, and let's just get that in. Probably get it the right side up would be a good idea. But uh, presto kazinga, there it is. We'll be testing this out to see how well it uh, works, but it's kind of an interesting uh, play. You know, typically with the S Pen, we found those on the Note line, which are usually out later in the year. Is this uh, foreshadowing maybe the end of the Note line? Will they start building the S Pen capability into the regular Galaxy line and uh, just forego that uh, other line? Well, we'll have to wait and see uh, coming up later this year. But uh, I do like the capability of having that uh, as a, an option, definitely. Overall, uh, you know, we are going to have to get our hands on this and actually test it out. But uh, it does look uh, like a, a beautiful new phone. I do like the hardware capabilities of the camera. And so I'm uh, very excited to try that out uh, as well. And one last thing, uh, this has uh, also got uh, built in ultra wide uh, band uh, Bluetooth capabilities uh, as well, which will work very well with the new smart thing or smart tags, sorry. Uh, this is the new tracking system that uh, Samsung is going to be building into their ecosystem with their devices. And uh, also allowing people to purchase these little tags as well that uh, you can uh, basically uh, put on everything from your wallet to your keys, to your pet, uh, bikes, uh, you name it, uh, you can do it. Oh, there we go. Kind of looks a lot like the, uh, the tile trackers. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how well these work and uh, you know if they can make a go of it and actually get this uh, to develop into uh, an ecosystem upon itself. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us make more videos. Plus, we'll be doing further uh, reviews and different takes uh, on this uh, particular phone and the line itself. There's also that little bell icon. Hit that. And uh, don't forget to leave some comments too. We'd love to hear from you.